All right, guys, we have returned, and we're going to be taking on Chapter 1, The Enigma, Second Mission, Random Encounter against Bludgeon Mini Boss. And we're going to take a similar team, the Beast Wars team that we took in the previous video, except this time we're going to switch out Dinobot and throw in Rhinox, and we'll see how this goes. I think we should be fine for the most part. Uh, I think mostly we're going to be playing a lot with Cheetor and Tantrum. So, Laserbeak has returned from his reconnaissance mission. The commander and the Autobots continue their pursuit. Do I care? Hardly. Once we attain what we seek, their demise is imminent. With all due respect, I cannot say I share your confidence. Do not pull a star scream on me. Question me not. We're going big. And the enigma is the key. Now go summon Bludgeon. I have a mission for him. What is Megatron up to, guys? What is coming? Just kidding. All right, so up first we have a Sharkticon. And what is the mod on this guy? He's got armor pierce, okay. So we should be okay. We're gonna alternate between Tantrum and Cheetor. Uh, whenever Tantrum has class advantage, and of course Cheetor has class disadvantage, we're gonna throw in Tantrum and we'll just keep uh, alternating like that. <clears throat> And then I think tomorrow, guys, we'll play with the Sword Masters. We'll revisit them with what's her name? Windblade, Bludgeon, our newly ranked four Bludgeon. And we'll also take, let's see, the guy Dinobot. And I'm missing one more. Who am I missing? Help me out here, guys. Uh, Dinobot, right? Drift. Sorry. Miss I was missing Drift. Can't believe I almost forgot about Drift. Ooh, I was a little late there. I want to use another special too, guys. Get that Electro Sword. And this should be it, I think. Ooh, nope. So close. There we go. Tantrum with the win. I think the second part of the Electro Sword, it doesn't actually amplify the damage because I think that one counts as like ranged. So whenever you have like a lot of melee buffs, you see the first strike actually hurt a lot. But then the second part where the sword sends out like a little ranged uh, shockwave or something, it doesn't do that much damage. Uh, Bludgeon says, uh, Soundwave said you wanted to see me. Indeed I do. How would you like to get serious about ending this Autobot nuisance? I'm always serious, especially when it comes to eradicating Autobots. What what do you have in mind? Recent revelations suggest a device of unimaginable power is nearby. Yeah, I've heard that before. Care to share a little more? Let's just say it's time to go big, as in combiner big. What? No way. Combiner? That would turn the tide. But I'm not one of those, you know, combiner pieces. But you could be. If we secure the enigma of combination, it's almost within our grasp. Buy us some time and devastating power will be yours. Oh man, is that something that's gonna come soon? Maybe? Hope so. Guess we'll find out, guys, as we uh, continue on in the chapters and keep reading some dialogue. That'll be awesome, though. Alright, so we got another warrior, which... Sucks. We really want to play with uh, Cheetor, but up next we have, I think it's G1 Bumblebee. So we'll go ahead and take that Bumblebee with our Cheetor. Always super scared fighting a G1 Bumblebee just because he's uh, so annoying to fight against. He's always evading. Be super careful against this drift, and we'll go for the electro sword once again. Nice little damage there. Here we go. 1800 crit on a heavy, not bad. <clears throat> Oh boy, Cheetor versus Bumblebee, guys. Let's see how this one goes. 
Bumblebee's just super, super annoying. Every time he dashes back, you gotta be super careful when, at any time he has that evade buff up. Just because he can quickly evade and then counter with an attack of his own. There's a bleed. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, Cheetor. We got unlucky there, trying to dodge. But there is the... All right, I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> we took almost 50% of our HP with one special too. That was a lot of damage. Triple hit. I was worried about that, but we ate it. Oh well. All right, let's go ahead and use Cheetor one more time against the Sharkticon. After 5 hit combo, he gains a little bit of power, which is really nice, actually. It's nice to see him uh, get his special one before the opponent. And this might be able to finish him off. That special 2 is sick. It's so difficult to dodge as well. You gotta be, like, ready for it. <clears throat> there we go up against the Cheetor. As soon as, like, uh, his little flip or whatever ends you gotta dodge a uh, up or down or else you'll eat that uh the blast like right away right, we got another brawler shark and we're gonna go use cheetor again <clears throat> try to go for a special three against this guy if we're able to There's one bleed, two bleeds. It's one of the things about Cheetor, I don't see him uh, bleed that often, but it's okay. And we'll go ahead and end it with the special three guys. It's such a sick animation. Got up next the Dino Bot. All right, and then Bludgeon is up next. So we're almost done, guys. We're actually blowing through this one pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and use Cheetor one more time against Dino Bot, and then we'll save a Bludgeon for Tantrum. Ooh, that was bad on my part. Jeez, he's got me cornered. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> I get super worried just because I know I'm more prone to take like uh, either like a special or even more damage whenever they have me cornered. And it's super hard to get away from the corner sometimes. But there we go. We barely survived. <clears throat> His little block damage is uh, no joke. Especially when we dash and then we get armor broken. Which spells a disaster. Uh, you sure it's this way? Oh, are you sure this is the way? Uh, yeah, don't you remember? Megatron's excavation site is on this path. Uh, squad, we got a slight problem. No, I'm telling you, this is the route. That ain't, That's not the problem. I am. Oh boy. Comes bludgeon, guys. 
He's got special three unlocked, increased crit rate, and armor pierce. So I'd be really careful not to get hit by this guy, especially because he'll be able to apply bleeds on us. And Bludgeon is honestly like one of the strongest warriors when it comes to like applying bleeds. His bleeds are like very high. They do a lot of damage. Just gotta be uh, super careful. Oh god, the lag. Why does it always lag like at the boss fight? Never understood that. Explain, Kabam. Explain. Just kidding. It's got a super strong armor buff as well. Five hit combo into a special three, get that special damage buff. And here we go, the bull rush. There's the stun. We're doing some really nice damage, man. Once you get the buffs going on Tantrum, use a special three, get unstoppable for a little bit, reset on the map, find an opening, go back in, and. This guy can easily get like 5 plus uh, melee buffs after a special 3, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be uh, chapter 1 guys. And tomorrow, <clears throat> like I said, we'll do uh, the first mission on chapter 2. Let me see what it is. Actually, let me back out. Accidentally hit next. If it wants to load. Are we just going to be on this loading screen again? Okay, here we are. Skip that. We don't want to ruin the dialogue just yet. <laughs> we'll uh, read through it tomorrow. But let me see what's uh, what we got. Enter the horns. Our first encounter against the tantrum boss. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, guys. Tomorrow we'll do the swordmaster synergy, and then against that motormaster. I think someone had mentioned to me that he's on like the bleed. Uh, like uh, what does it do? Every melee. Uh, damage that he does every melee attack he does inflicts bleed god i lost my words there for a second uh so we got to be careful against that one i might end up bringing um mv1 or even just uh going head to head with like og prime against that motor master but for sure tomorrow though guys we'll revisit the uh, sword masters and we'll see uh how much crazy damage they're able to put out so yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys again tomorrow have a good uh safe and uh just a good monday i guess <laughs>